Yes, yeah, so hello people. Uh, recently I was looking around on YouTube as to how to properly track a lens flare from the Video Copilot Optical Flare plugin for After Effects to make it look like properly realistic and every single tutorial I found were terrible. They looked awful and they were doing it completely wrong. Um, this is what they looked like. They looked like this. As you can see is essentially that, except they, they made it bigger so it would fit, but that, that just kind of ruins the effect. It doesn't track properly and essentially what you're doing is just tracking the screen. It works, it's kind of alright, but honestly it's, it's pretty terrible. It looks really rubbish and you can do it a lot better. Uh, before I get into this tutorial, I'm going to assume you know how to do motion tracking and how to attach and like, apply it to the null object and whatnot, but I will go over that briefly. So basically this is going to be a tutorial of how to turn that into something like this. Let me just round preview it first. So into something like this. So as you can see it's a lot better track than this. Uh, the whole screen is moving in this. In this only the flare is moving. Now all you After Effects boffins probably already realised how I did this but for everyone else I'm going to explain so without further ado, uh, let's get started. So this is going to be my raw clip. I'm going to drag it into this square, triangle, and circle thing, which basically makes a new composition and does it, it makes the composition set to all the settings of the clip. My clip, I just filmed it about an hour, I don't know, about an hour ago when it was still light outside, and I tried to find outside my window a place that was a like a point of the footage that was uh, bright like really bright in one place, brighter than other places, and I did uh, this window here. As you can see it's just, it's almost white. If you go drag over it, it's it's almost white. It's, anyway. Uh, this is good because then I can easily track it, and the tracker has no problem with doing it. So firstly, you can just make it short because you don't need a lot of it. Uh, double click the footage, and start your track. So. Uh, have to get the tracker panel open, go onto window, tracker, and then it should come up here in the bottom. So you click track motion and then this box comes up. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm still pretty new to After Effects, I came from motion for, so uh, getting used to it. Basically, uh, this box has got a point of tracking in the middle. Uh, I think the outside box is where it looks for and the inside box is what it actually tracks, I think. You're going to have to look at it. But Again, I'm assuming you already know how to motion track. Basically what I'm going to do is get this whole light here, uh, just track the inside, make the box a bit bigger on the outside just so it can follow it, and then just track it. So uh, I'll come back when it's done. It actually tracked very fast. I was surprised as to how fast that would track. But uh, just tracked it, kind of curving around. Uh, it's not as long as the other one. Okay, so I don't know if I said this before, but this effect is really, really easy to do. Uh, I figured it out by myself when I was in my uh, lesson today editing a New York film to the school that uh, we went on the school trip to New York. I was editing it and I was trying to add in some fake lens flares for the sun. And uh, through trial and error and multiple failed attempts at looking for tutorials on YouTube, I figured out how to do this. Basically, what you do is with the motion tracking, everyone, well, if you know how to motion track, you need a null object or any object that is clear because it doesn't, it won't affect it. Go back onto your clip, uh, edit target null to, I guess, because uh, I've done this before, and then apply x and y, and then kaboom, uh, it's tracked to the to the thing. Next step is to have a light in, and this is important, so pay attention. When you make your light, you go into layer, new, light, click it, uh, doesn't matter what the name is, make sure the intensity is set at zero. You don't want it to be having any effect on the scene at all, none at all. You don't want it to cast shadows, you don't want it to do anything. So just set the intensity at zero, doesn't matter what light it is, as long as the intensity is at zero. So when you add it in, uh, yeah, whatever. When you add it in, uh, it does nothing, it, it has no effect on the scene, which is exactly what you want. So first what you want to do is drag the uh, cross point here, just to the middle, and then, so it's essentially in 2D space and then drag the uh, arrows in the direction you need to get it to your point. So uh, in fact, I'm going to make this a bit deeper, just so it does it properly. 
uh, because the light's 3D, it might take a few tries to, to get this properly because um, it is a bit of a pain in the ass. So do that. Now I wanted to track. Oops, I I wanted to track from the middle. So just about around there, ish. And then what you do is this is also important. You use this uh, lasso, or you can click this and you drag the lasso or the box, and you drag it to a null two. So now. Hopefully, yep, the light is tracked with it. But obviously, it's not working properly because it doesn't like me. Because uh, the light is in 3D space, it's going to take a lot of fiddling around to get to, to be right. It's a massive pain in the ass, but after a couple of tweaks, you'll get it to just stay on the point, uh, more or less. It doesn't really matter that too much. Okay, now, uh, another important feature of the tutorial layer, new. Adjustment layer. Not enough people use adjustment layers. They're really useful and it like automatically screens it. So you go onto adjustment layer, and this is where you're going to be adding your optical flare. This is when the effect's going to really start to to take place. Effect, video copilot. While selecting your adjustment layer, optical flares, and then bam. Uh, first thing you want to do is change the render mode to over original. Uh, second thing you want to do. Now this this is this is it. This is this is the tutorial right here essentially. Uh, you want to positioning mode under the positioning mode source type change that to track lights. Like oh no, where's it gone? Oh, it's just disappeared. No, because you set your intensity to zero, it's not going to track any of the light. So what you want to do is to uncheck all of these boxes. And wouldn't you know it, if you play it now, the lights will be tracked. The optical flare, sorry, will be will be tracked with the footage and it will look like it's meant to be there and obviously if you want to I'll just use the, I'll, you can use any flare you want, I'm going to go a bit mental actually, I'm going to use my favourite flare, Mooncam I love this flare, don't know why, I just do uh, stick that in and boom it looks, it looks pretty cool, obviously it's extremely unrealistic because it's just coming from a window but with this you can adjust the brightness uh, scale. In fact, I might turn the scale down and just turn the brightness up, just so it looks a bit better, like so. And then you can round preview, and you can see that it pretty much is exactly what a lens flare would do. It looks exactly the same as what a proper lens flare would do. Uh, so that's the clip. There you have it. You can do this with any footage you want as long as you can track a point. You can do this. It's really easy to do. I really hope this tutorial helped you. It's the first one on YouTube I've had to properly do it that I know of. I looked on some forums. Some people had it, but no one did a video tutorial, so I thought I should do one. Uh, again, just quickly, what you want to do is track your raw clip. Add an uh, attach a null to the track just to have a, a tracking thing to attach it into, and then get a light. Turn the intensity down to zero. Uh, uh, connect the light to the null so it follows it. Adjust the light because it's in 3D space until you get it to when it's pretty much sticking with the null layer. Add an adjustment layer, put your optical flares on that adjustment layer, turn the source type underneath positioning mode to track lights, uncheck all the boxes below it, all the four boxes, and you are done. And you can change your lens after that, uh, you can change whatever you want. I, I really hope this tutorial helped. I'm pretty glad I made it because it turned out to be a lot better than I thought it would. And um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I don't usually make tutorials, so this is the first one I've properly done. Also, again, you can also add effects to the to the uh, background layers, like you can add a glow to it to make it look a bit funky. But for me, I'm pretty happy with just this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you want any more tutorials on After Effects, Motion, Final Cut, or Cinema 4D, please let me know. I'll do my best to provide. And yeah, so I will see you guys on the flip side. And I really hope this tutorial helps because I'm really happy with making it. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you.